Yo, what's going on? It's Old Man McGowan, and I'm back again today playing some more Dungeon Defenders for the Xbox 360. Alright, guys, what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna go through another mission. I think I've done a couple of videos of this already, and maybe I jumped the gun on you. I did start out, like, way at the end. I, I tried to show you, like, where to get some good gear. We are gonna go on insane, but we're gonna start, like, with the first... The first map here I will go through like with a brand new character again like I said in the other video I will go and reset all my stuff but for now let's let's have some fun with this I'm also doing a let's play on Dungeon Defenders 2 for the PC and that one's gonna be awesome so I want to do these kind of at the same time all right the deeper well Okay, so basically I'm starting out with my knight because this is like a strategy that I like to use on all of these characters. And this is kind of like why I want to go with the knight first when I reset. I always want to go with that knight to reset. Okay, so you see I don't have any mana. It's all about the mana. We need to go and get these chests. We're going to fill up on mana. If you've never played this before, it's all about the mana. It's all about the mana. These, these little chests and the little sparkly gems that are coming out of them those are mana that's mana there's a lot of games that use mana a lot of games that use mana um, what are we gonna use we're just gonna use these ones because they're cheap we're gonna use these because they're cheap put one there put another one over here nope wrong one all right we're gonna put that there and you can place it anywhere that it's green and then spin it in the direction that you want. And if you weren't so fiddly with it like I am, you can place it real fast. You want to get some practice in on spinning these things and, and how they actually angle. What the distance is between them that the guys can get through and what won't. You know? Like, you can't get through right here. That's, that's blockage. I utilize this little, uh, what do you call that? Oh, it's a turbine, right? Uh, uh, what do you call that? That's not a turbine. That's not what they call it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be stuck as the knight for this round because I wasn't fast enough. That's alright. I got a big heavy sword. I can, I can fight him off. What do we got? Six guys coming at us? No big deal. Little devil guys are going down. Okay, this game is a lot of fun. Like, it takes a long time to level up your character so it is RPG styles and you can level up all your weapons too and the more mana that you collect in a game at the end of it like extra mana is saved in your bank right so on levels where you get tons and tons of mana all that extra mana is going to go to your bank if you don't use it every round that'll help you out a little bit but the real thing to get your mana going up is uh to actually upgrade your weapons and then sell them. We'll go through that on another one. For now, as you see, I'm gonna grab my mana again. We're gonna go upstairs, back where my blockers are. All those little spike blocker things. Oh, no, nah, that's garbage. I don't want that. We're not farming for gear right now. We're not farming for gear. Okay, so up here, I wanna go and drop my mana. So I'm gonna go and drop my mana. Drop all mana, yes. Drop the mana. And then that's all on the ground. And it's gonna stay on the ground until it, for a few seconds there. If I'm not fast enough, it'll, it'll just suck back into my character and it'll be a waste of time dropping it on the ground. I wanted to switch it to this guy. Cause this dude's got different stuff. This guy's got turrets that I really like. The deadly striker tower. We could put like one deadly striker tower right here. And that'll shoot guys coming all the way from the hallway or up those steps. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Oh, I don't have enough mana. That's alright. We'll make more mana. Hit this crystal. We'll get mana in during the round. And we've got a weapon that shoots high power weapons. Well, high power magic. It's a high power magical staff. See this thing? We're in 4,000 DPS. With it. Just with like a little cap. And if you charge it up, like this. It's even higher DPS. See, that was 11,000. 11,000 DPS. 
Look at that. And that's just for one shot. DPS, I'm referring to damage per second. Anybody that's not familiar with DPS? Okay, so there we go. We're good. We're good. We could probably just use this guy and kill all the rest of them. I think this guy, his weapon is actually strong enough that if I was really fast, I don't even think I need turrets to beat it with this guy. I'm not sure about that. It's not too old, is it? These turrets definitely help you out. I mean, the striker towers, they shoot through walls. They shoot through anything. They'll shoot through everything. And they have an extremely long range to them. Here, watch that. See? One shot from the thing takes it out. So if you can just increase the, your rate of fire of your turrets, you can pretty much just rely on your turrets. There is a mode where that's all you got to do, is you only get your build phase in between rounds, and during your build phase you got to build your turrets, place them in the perfect spots, and you got to make sure that they are perfect, because in one mode, that's all you get. You don't get to use your weapons during the round. It's turrets only. I like playing the mode that you can use your weapons, so we'll go through some of those turret only ones. Those are like strategy. They're hardcore strategy. Okay, and we can upgrade. We can upgrade our defenses. See, we can do 100 mana for an upgrade on this thing. I'm actually just going to place a couple more since I got room. I've got space to build more turrets. The defense units up in the top right corner. You see when I placed that, it went up to 36 out of 60. So you got to kind of pay attention to how much you have available for slots and how much each type of uh, defense unit is going to cost you, right? So like here we go, we summon, we got magic missiles are 40, deadly striker towers are 150. That's the most expensive thing that the wizards got, but he, I think it's the most most beneficial tower, most beneficial turret he has. Lightning towers are really good, but they're kind of slow. Kind of slow, it seems. Fireball towers, I like them. And magic blockades, they're really cheap, and they don't actually last very long. Their health is not... not uh, they do not have a high health bar on them. So you, if you're using magic blockades, it's not going to like kill any of the enemies at all. It's really slow them down. Sometimes I use them as a strategy just to slow them down. That's all I'll do. I'll use some of them. I know that I don't have enough space to actually put something that'll kill them down. So I make them stop in a bottleneck situation kind of thing like this maybe. Sometimes instead of using this thing, if I didn't have the knight and I needed to stop them here, I would use the magic blockades instead. And then I would be putting down turrets like these deadly striker towers and maybe some magic missiles and maybe even a fireball as well to compensate for the fact that there's no spikes on my magic blockade. I love these magic blockades. They are good. They're they're only 20 bucks. Like it's it's a cheap unit cheaps, uh, what do you call it, uh, defense unit anyways, and it only costs one defense unit, see that? There's also, like, that's what you gotta pay attention to, that's what I was saying about the defense units and the 44 out of 60. We could place more down. This is the first map of the game, though, so I think that we're gonna be fine. It's already the last, we're already on the last round of it. And after that first couple of rounds, I didn't even need to bother with the boxes. I'm killing them with kindness. Killing them with kindness. Never should have done the no towers. There's another mode, Insane Plus. I think this exact same strategy would work for the Insane Plus. But just to make sure that it did work out, I wanted to show you how I placed this strategy. This is the same, pretty much the same strategy I go with on the Insane Plus. 
a little bit more casual and I'm not under the gun running back and forth every two seconds trying to heal or something or replace a block or somewhere. Wave complete. Alright. Well, like I say, this game is a lot of fun. It, it's hours and hours and hours that you're going to have to invest in it to get your AI character leveled up to like 75 like I have mine. And I have like four characters that are in their 70s. You can have a maximum of eight characters per account. I'm not sure if you can just like reset it and then save them on an extra hard drive or something like that. I'll have to check into that. I do have an external hard drive. I'll see. I'll see. I'll let you guys know about that. Anyways, that was just a quick one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed having a, a little walk along with me in there. Till next time, I'm Old Man McGowan. Keep on playing.